Hey there everyone, my name is Amber Horsley and I'm a resident here at the Hayden Institute. And today we're going to be talking about HDLs and LDLs, the so-called good and bad cholesterol. And so we're really going to talk about well, what they are, what do they do in the body, and are they really good and bad? And so we're going to kind of dive more into that side of things. So first off, HDLs and LDLs stand for high density lipoprotein and low density lipoprotein. And so when they, they're called lipoproteins, so that means that they are proteins that carry cholesterol. So they themselves are actually not cholesterol. They are just um, molecules in the body that transport cholesterol wherever it needs to go. And that's where LDLs get named bad cholesterol is because they take cholesterol from the liver out into the tissues wherever it needs to go. And when HDL brings any of the remaining back to the liver. So that's what their functions themselves are. So LDLs themselves are very vital because you need that cholesterol to go to all those different places because cholesterol is fundamental for our bodies as we've mentioned in some of these other videos. It's important in your immune system as well as for um, bile production, for detoxification and waste production. It's important for um, vitamin D. It's important for all your sex hormones. So that LDL is actually doing a very good job by bringing that cholesterol wherever it needs to go. So then when it comes to good and bad cholesterol, what is it really referring to or what really is good or bad? Well, they're both good and they're both bad. What do I mean by that? So there's two different fractions of HDLs and LDLs. There's HDLA and HDLB, and LDLA and LDLB. So these A and B forms mean that are mean and demonstrate their different sizes. And so that's the biggest difference is the size and how that affects the body. So LDL and HDLA are large. They're large, fluffy, and very buoyant. And so they float through our bloodstream with really no issues whatsoever. Whereas their B counterparts are much more, they're small, they're dense, they're like little BBs. And so those are the ones that actually cause more issues in our body. But again, there's HDL and LDL Bs. So even the good cholesterol has bad forms as well. So you can't use just the names themselves as good and bad because they both have good and bad forms. And so again, let's dive into especially LDL. So the small little BB dense forms of LDL cause a lot of havoc in our bodies. And how? So the size, their ability to oxidize, and the immune system's response to them. So as I mentioned, the B forms are very small. They're very small and dense. And so that, that size of them allows them to get behind the lining of the vessels. So in all of your arteries and your veins, things like that, there is a very, very thin layer that's one cell um, thick, that's that inner lining. And so if there's a little cut or tear or anything, those little LDLs are able to get behind there. And that's how you start to get that little inner lining to start to tear off of the rest of the wall. That's a problem, it's a big problem. And the other big reason why um, LDL Bs are a problem is because they and their size are much more able to be oxidized. So I know oxida oxidation may be a foreign concept to a lot of people out there. So I'm gonna take a step back and talk about that for a second. So. Let's think about when you're gonna have an apple. You cut an apple open, and when you look at it, it's very bright white, very, very pristine. However, if you lay it outside, uh, just in open air for a while, it turns brown. It is oxidizing. It means that um, all those different molecules in that apple are changing when they're exposed to oxygen. And that's what happens with all of our cells as well. And that's why antioxidants are so important is because they make sure that all the oxygen that we breathe in, that it's vital for our bodies, does not become toxic and does not change our ourselves in a negative fashion. And so again, these little LDLs, LDL Bs, are much more likely to oxidize. And when they do, when they oxidize, they change shape and they become much more sharp. And so they are now able to cut 
and tear little slices into those artery walls. And so that's causing a problem A because it's tearing it and B allows any of the ones that even aren't oxidized to get back there. So they get back there as well as all the other ones. So there's now an accumulation of these little molecules in that little lining area. And of course, what happens when you tear, you cut anything in your body, your immune system is going to now fire and come out and help. And so your immune system, it's gonna come, it's gonna kind of quarantine the area and try to do its best to heal that. And so it's gonna wall off the area and it's going to start putting all of its best fighters out there to fight those foreign invaders, including your own little cells then. And so what it does is it starts to eat up all of the cholesterol that is dropped by the LDLs. Because when those oxidized LDLs arrive there, they drop their cholesterol. And so now those little immune fighters, macrophages, are going to eat up all of those little uh, molecules. And so once they stick there, oftentimes when they're full, they're going to die there. And so since cholesterol is kind of that yellow color, that's why whenever you go to your medical doctor, you've heard, you might have heard about like yellow streaks, how you have yellow streaks in your arteries. That's a, a lot of them are these little macrophages that are full of all that cholesterol that died and made those little linings. And so again, there's not good or bad cholesterol. They're both. It just depends on the size and the shape and things like that because these were all made for a specific function and their function is very good. However, whenever there's toxins and inflammation that comes in, it changes their, their normal functioning into something that's not so good. And that's what's happening with these LDLs and HDLs is that when there's that small um, form LDL-B, they're able to tear up and cause a little more havoc and have the immune system have to come in and start to just wall things off. And when it walls that area off, it's gonna leave a much more narrow area for the rest of the blood to flow through. And that's gonna increase your blood pressure. So this causes a lot of issues in all different sides and forms. I know I covered a lot, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them at amber at hayden And thanks so much, have a great day, bye.